We've um, finally got round to doing the 12th edition of the Organic Farm Management Handbook. But um, as, a, as a grower, it would be just interesting yeah. to hear how, how, how you've used your copy. I mean, you've got a 2017 copy. Um, what, what have you found that's, that's been most useful in the well, book? Well, the vegetables, of course. So I, I thumb through and it, it is useful. I think the sensitivity analysis is really useful. The mm. fact that you can put in different figures. It's a useful guide, but there are many occasions when you have to extrapolate the figures to that particular situation. But it is a, it is a good guide. It's a background information that I think growers need. I think growers should be using it more. Very few growers that I know actually have a copy of this. Yes. This is farmers. This is, this is this is frustrating. Yeah, but not growers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I think I think your your understanding of the need to use the sensitivity analysis is is interesting because actually uh, that's probably the most critical part of it because you can you can come up with average figures for the gross margins, uh, but actually they may be completely irrelevant to the individual farm. Yeah. So the fact that you're saying, well, this farm is on a particularly good grade one soil and might be able to perform at the higher level is, is really important, I think. Yeah, I think it's a benchmark that growers can, can, can use, you know, to, to monitor their own systems. I think it's really useful in that respect. I mean, where we draw the line in terms of scale gets difficult. Yes. Because horticulture can be anything from one hectare to 200 hectares. Well, we do try to distinguish between the smaller and more intensive grower yeah. where we have a bit of basic yield and price information and the sort of more field scale yeah. veg which has all of the sort of seed rates and all of the variable costs and input costs and so on so we sort of try to make that distinction uh, but certainly the smaller grower does need to have more, yeah. more data collected. Yeah. I don't know whether you use the sort of exception on certification do you and the different costs of the certi different certification bodies? I've never looked into that part of it, no. being certified anyway, I haven't really needed to. Yeah. Most of the people I work with are already certified with Soil Association or OF&G anyway, so yeah. that doesn't really come into no. it. Okay. I think that's probably less important to me than other aspects. What about the, the grant information? Because that's all changed now and there are some reasonably good grants and you know they've lifted the, the minimum area yeah. on grant eligibility now. So is, is that a useful part of the... Yeah, that is useful. It's a bit of a minefield for people to play through anyway. So I think yeah. any information about that is, is handy, yeah. definitely. So in that respect, it would be much more useful to that. Yeah, yeah it would okay. be, yeah. yeah. All right, well, I think um, that's been very very helpful because obviously we're thinking about the next edition and just any any ideas for the future are really really helpful I look forward to receiving my copy <laughs> <laughs> okay tolly tomorrow thank you <laughs>